and welcome to the Nexus for Flashback issue 36, the Obaf class. So, uh, this is the model. It's a really nice size. Uh, it's a really nice one. Uh, but let's uh, push that to the side and let's take a look at the magazine. So, in this we have uh, in-universe information. Uh, I think it made its first appearance in the uh, uh, Star Trek... Uh, I do believe it was a Wrath of Khan, or the, um, no, I think it was the Wrath of Khan. I'm just trying to think now. Uh, we have a lot of in-universe information. Obviously, the uh, the above class featured in uh, some of the films, as well as Next Generation and Deep Space Nine. Uh, so here you can see um, it featured a lot. Uh, this was the search for Spock, I do believe, uh, where the Grisham um, gets destroyed. Uh, obviously this is the Grisham here this is the one we've got obviously there's a few ships the same class um, they've obviously gone with the, the Grisham as well uh, which is I think a more recognisable version of the ship so like I said we have a lot of in-universe information uh, nice overlay view there um, obviously Star Trek 3 um, I think that's did it appear in Star I think I'm not too no it was it was Star Trek 3 my mistake Search for Spock. It it um it wasn't in the Wrath of Khan. That's my mistake. So Star Trek Three. So yeah, the Search for Spock. Um, it's the movie. It came. It came in these. Uh, this just as a sort of a rundown of the of the plot and how it how it sort of developed, uh, and the sort of feel that they were going for it. Uh, then we come on to filming and building the above. So obviously it was um, it was a model originally. Uh, it wasn't CGI. Uh, so here we have the original one, and then one with uh, a more of a, a familiar paint scheme. So it's got this really weird um, sort of cargo pod underneath that's sort of suspended underneath it with the saucer and the engines on top. Uh, it's connected by pylons. We have here, which is uh, an above that they used in Next Gen, which is obviously severely damaged. Uh, then we come on to this, so we have the trivia and an on-screen, so the search for Spock. Next Generation Deep Space Nine is when it appeared. Um, its two key appearances was obviously the search for Spock and the Pegasus, um, which featured this gentleman here. Uh, then we have, uh, which we're going to be looking at uh, next time, so uh, make sure you join us for that. It's the Andorian Battle Cruiser from Star Trek Enterprise. Uh, and then we have a nice... Um, bottom view there so so the Earth class, class is very very nice ship and this one the eagle moss have produced is really really nice so it sits really easy uh the stand sits on these on on the pylons just there uh and it slots in really easy uh it's very stable once it's on there and it's sort of straight as well if you can see so that's really nice uh it's a really nice size uh, the ship is small on screen, um, and it appears small, but we have a really nice sized version. Uh, some of the ships, like I said, have come out okay or a bit small, but this is possibly the perfect size for it. Uh, United Federation of Planets on the warp nacelle there. These big block warp nacelles. We've even got the uh, impulse engine at the back there all done. Uh, this car it's like a cargo pod underneath and obviously there's been some talk on how they get into this pod are there uh, turbo lifts in here or do they transport into it um, sort of I think it's been left to our imagination so that's kind of cool uh, the, the detail on this is really really nice as well nice coloring we have the, um, the shuttle bays at the sides here I think now I do believe they're shuttle bays Around the side, obviously, the Grissom there looks really nice. NCC 638, so it's a very late one. So these, these ships are old, but still functional. Probably like um, cargo supplies. Um, I wouldn't have thought they were very heavily armoured. But the detail on it is really, really nice. I mean, they've got the windows all the way around. They are misaligned. But, you know, what do you expect? Uh, it's just a really nice model. We have uh, tower lights here. They're uh, they're painted red, which is really nice. 
the grids as well the back of the engines as you can see they're really really nice we have the old um federation deco there are the artec in of the panel lines uh underneath as well it's very detailed it's just an all-round nice ship um i would definitely put this one uh in the top 10 of uh the best my favorite ships in the collection i will be doing a top 10 soon uh, i really wanted to wait until the collection finishes before i do it so i'm just holding out slightly on on doing that uh, but i may do one and then maybe do an update one later on but yeah just keep an eye out for that um but yeah i love the above class um anyway tell us what you think thank you for watching flashback um and we'll see you at the next one